All right, welcome to Geometry 4-2. Uh, we're learning about special right triangles. Um, and specifically, we're starting off with the 45, 45, 90 triangle and its theorem. Um, and before we even get into this, I just want to look at how these are derived. Uh, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to even get to uh, how we're kind of coming up with these shortcuts for these special right triangles. So let's look at this example right here. And uh, let's just say we are going to perform the Pythagorean theorem. So... Um, Again, we have Pythagorean theorem says uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, okay? And in this case, we have x squared plus x squared equals uh, y squared. And again, um, for if these lengths are the same, that means that these angles are the same. And if these angles are the same, uh, we know that this is 90, right? We have 90 degrees plus 2 of the same angle. Um, and we know that the sum of the interior sides angles of a triangle is 180. Uh, and so using algebra, we can kind of see that. Divide by 2, and x equals 45. So you can see that each of these angles are 45 degrees. So when you have two, an isosceles right triangle, uh, the wall, the legs will be the same length, as well as the two angles inside will also be the same length and they'll always be 45 degrees and that's why we're talking about this 45 45 90 angle so again you have two sides the same so your a and your b are both x and if we continue along with this we have uh, 2x squared we had like terms and uh, when we square each side what is the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is going to be y being the hypotenuse here right is going to be x rad 2 so, the shortcut then is when you have a right triangle with, with uh, two angles that are 45 degrees, that means that their legs are the same. So let's, uh, using a variable, if the legs are x, its hypotenuse will be x rad 2. And we proved this uh, through this right here. So again, in special right triangles, um, and let's just go over the theorem now. The theorem says, um, in a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, both legs are congruent, meaning they're the same length, okay? And the length of the hypotenuse is rad 2 times the length of the leg. So I'll say that one more time. In a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, both legs are congruent, and the length of the hypotenuse is rad 2 times the length of the leg, which is x. Now let's look at this example down here to maybe solve. So you can see that since these two, we know that these two angles are the same because of the markings, that that means that they're both, this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So looking at the missing sides, I can see that if this is 9, the other leg must also be 9. And the hypotenuse is rad 2 times the length of the leg, 9 rad 2. So we used the relationships of the 45, 45, 90 triangle in order to find the missing sides of a 45, 45 triangle. All right, let's look at the next theorem. All right, the next one is about 30, 60, 90 triangles and its theorem. And the 30, 60, 90 triangle, again, like the 45, 45, 90, is going to have relationships between the short leg, the long leg, and the hypotenuse. Um, again, uh, since 30 degrees is the smallest uh, angle within this triangle, its, op its opposite side is going to be the shortest leg. 60 is in the middle, and so it's going to be the longer leg. And the hypotenuse across from the 90 degree is going to be the longest leg. Knowing that, we could help label our sides. Um, so the smallest side is going to just be side, or x, or whatever you want. So however long that is, that'll be the side. Uh, the next biggest one up the big leg is going to be side rad 3. And the hypotenuse, the longest one, excuse me, the hypotenuse is 2 times, excuse me, 2 times the side. Now let me read this to you in case you're filling it in your workbook. So, in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is twice, twice as long as the shorter leg. And the length of the longer leg is rad three times the length of the shorter leg. And I'll say this one more time. 
In a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is two times or twice the length as the shorter leg. The hypotenuse is twice the length as the shorter leg. The length of the longer leg is rad 3 times the length of the shorter leg. Okay, and now let's use uh, this information in order to solve. So in this one below, we're given that the long leg is 5. And uh, we need to find the length of the short leg as well as the hypotenuse. Well, we know that 5 equals uh, the short leg times rad 3. So in order to find the length of the side, we would have to divide both sides by rad 3. So let's do that. So we know that the side is 5 over rad 3. However, we need to rationalize the, uh, the denominator. So let's multiply both the top and the bottom by 1, which we'll call rad 3 over 3. So we can see that the short side would be equal to 5 rad 3 over 3. Now, we know that uh, the hypotenuse is going to be twice as long as this. So uh, we have 5 rad 3 over 3 times 2 would equal 10 rad 3 over 3. 10 rad 3 over 3. So hopefully that helps you to follow along. Um, and the rest of the problems in here is just, again, kind of working this out. If you're given a side, are we able to figure out, using uh, these, the relationships between these three legs, or the two legs in the hypotenuse, um, the length of the missing sides? So again, 5 was equal to side red 3, right? Equals side red 3. So in order to figure out the length of the short side, we divided both by red 3 so we could see what the side revealed, which was 5 over red 3. 5 over red 3. We just rationalize the denominator, multiplying by 1. Um, and you get this, so this was our short side. We multiplied by 2 because the hypotenuse is twice the length. So we multiplied by 2 to get 10 over rad 3. Hopefully this helps, and uh, I'll talk to you in the next chapter or section. Bye.